here's some good news for you. Thanks to falling battery prices, near round-the-clock solar electricity is now economic. We just want to take a few minutes to share our latest research on what is now possible, how cheap prices have become, and why this changes everything for the electricity transition. The modeling that we did was to see how close you can get to a gigawatt of constant electricity from solar and battery alone. The configuration that we used to try to get that was six gigawatts of solar panels and 17 gigawatts hours of battery. Um, and we'll talk a bit more about how the configuration impacts that later on. And what we found was that in most sunny cities, you get over 90% of the time you're at that one gigawatt of constant electricity supply. For Oman, it was 99% of the time. For Johannesburg, Mexico City, uh, and Las Vegas, it was 95% of the time. And all of that was at a price of around about $100 a megawatt hour, which for most countries, for most hours, makes that competitive with fossil fuels. Getting to 24-hour solar is actually the easy part, just that battery. Getting exactly 24 hour, 365 days a year solar is very hard because of clouds. Fortunately, though, on cloudy days, you often still get more solar power than you might think. And this is what you see on this graphic here, which is the blue part shows you the cloudy days. And the deeper the blue goes, the more cloudy it is on that day. And if you look at the top bit here with Oman, even on the cloudiest days, solar plus batteries can still power 18 hours of constant electricity. For Madrid, which is a bit cloudier on this graphic, you can see the dips are in the shorter winter days. In Hyderabad, in India, the monsoon was the main impact, which is the middle of the year uh, where you see the most cloud cover. But still, it delivered more than half of the day's power, even on the cloudiest days. So yes, clouds do matter, but perhaps less than what you might think. The problem was never the sun. The problem was the cost of batteries, and that's where the really good news comes in. The reason why we were so excited to write this report was that this has only been made possible by falling battery prices. The concept of 24, 365 solar just wouldn't have existed uh, a few years ago. In 2024 alone, there was a 40% fall in battery prices and for the whole of the solar system solar and battery system that represented a 22 percent fall in that cost which had already fallen by 28 percent in the uh, in the four years before that um, and that 104 dollars now puts it cheaper than new coal new nuclear and in many cases new gas the prices that we're now seeing go through for 2025 uh, for China, for India, and Saudi Arabia, are substantially lower again. So these that price fall that we saw in 2024, that's just a continuation of a trend that uh, is not about to stop anytime soon. So getting to 97% reliability costs around $104 per megawatt hour. This is the highlighted bit on the top of the graphic. If you want more reliability, so you want to move further up in terms of uh, coverage, you can go all the way to 99%. However, you move further to the uh, on the price curve and it becomes more expensive, 167 per megawatt hours. But for critical users like data centers, that actually might be worth it. Getting that last 1% to 100% or so isn't possible in many places because there's just so much cloud cover on some days. For many users, though, the sweet spot lies somewhere between the 60 and the 90% mark. This provides you with flexible power during night hours. It reduces the need for costly grid upgrades. And this is useful whether you're running a solar farm or managing an industrial site with solar on site for self consumption. And that's less than $80 per megawatt hour in most cases. So this is still all just a dream, right? Well, actually, no. It's already happening. In Hawaii, they shut down the last coal power plant in 2022, and now uh, many places run on solar through the night. In Saudi Arabia, they built a 16 hotel mega tourist resort that is powered 100% by solar and batteries all the time. And what really inspired us to do this research 
was this news that appeared in 2025, in January, when the UAE announced a solar project with enough battery storage to deliver one gigawatt of continuous electricity 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And this project will come online in 2027. And we've talked about the costs of battery, but actually it's not that batteries are just cheaper, it's that they're an awful lot better. And that there are certain parts of that that really also help the economics. So for example, uh, they last longer than ever. So you can now discount it over a longer time period than you've ever been able to before. There are some companies offering warranties of 20 years for the battery. They're better designed in the, uh, in the way that they're, they're embedded within shipping containers, which means that there's lost less operational cost to maintain them as they go through their life. Um, already, a lot of the nickel and cobalt um, uh, uh, had been zeroed and taken out, which is really encouraging. That's not the same for car batteries in quite the same way, but for grid batteries, that had happened mostly already by 2023. There's a lot less fire risk. That was always a concern for grid batteries. And back in 2019, there was um, per gigawatt of installed battery, it was 100 times more fire risk uh, than there was last year. Um, and then finally is the a huge pickup in supply that's happened. So far, most of it's happened in China, but there's also huge manufacturing picking up within Europe, within Southeast Asia, within the US, that means that Actually, it's not uh, um, supply that's the constraint in this. It's demand that's the constraint. And actually to be able to step up at scale, to be able to build this, uh, the volumes of, of uh, battery we're talking about is now possible. And of course, the next technology coming along uh, will reduce the footprint even further um, uh, with the advent of um, so-called sodium iron salt batteries, which take out lithium, which is the last kind of remaining critical mineral within batteries today. And batteries unlock three huge benefits. On the top here, starting with first one, you can fit up to five times as much electricity from solar through the same grid connection, because the power is flowing constantly and not just when the sun is shining the brightest. And because grids are such a drag on the transition, this is actually a huge plus. Second, in the middle here, you can see that you can reshape solar to better meet demand. So it's not just generating in sunny hours, and this means that you dramatically increase the value of that solar electricity and its usefulness for consumers. And finally, in the bottom here, you can see the final and probably one of the most important benefits that come from battery storage being so cheap, which is that you can increase solar's overall share in electricity demand. Without storage, it's really quite limited to around 20%, which you can see here. But when adding storage, theoretically, you could go all the way up to 100%. The best part is you don't need to reach for 100% 24 365 solar to realize these benefits. Most of the way is actually just fine. So these benefits are really huge, and we think that because of these benefits, 24 365 solar changes everything for the electricity transition. Thank you.